<coughs> this used to be the main Bridlington to Scarborough Road and up here there's I'm saying it used to be um, they built a bypass at the side up there now so the traffic on here is minimal but just up here there's um, a really long steep hill and when I was a kid I used to cycle to Scarborough I must have only been 13, 14 it's like 20 miles to Scarborough and coming back I could never get up this hill unless I got off my bike walked to the bottom of it I used to go off you know, a quarter of a mile before it walk to the bottom of the hill get on my bike and then for some reason I used to be able to get to the top anyway I always remember the very first time I ever did it god I was so happy what an achievement <laughs> Come on, come on clip clop. <laughs> that steep hill I was on about was just down here. And I am definitely having pedal assist on. I'm in number one at the moment. He doesn't look so long and big now as you get older, but as a kid I tell you it was a killer with this. And pedal assist three. Mind you, I am on about 45 years ago. <laughs> God, it's ugly, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Pedal assist three, gear five. And I reckon I was maybe putting 60% of power through my legs. Film, I feel my legs coming up there. Oh. <laughs> I've already gone wrong. Somewhere through somewhere through this hedge I need to go <laughs> this is it I can't get my bike through can't get my bike so lock. What a shame. That answers that. <laughs> Look at that. That was worth having a look just in that little corner. I'll tell you something, it appears to have cycling glasses on. I'm absolutely covered in flies. God, these nettles are sharp through my trousers. Ow. <laughs> God. You won't want to come down here in shorts. Or thin leggings.
Bit of an interesting spot in there, look. Has a military look about it. They've got old RAF Bempton further up. Big, massive underground radar insulation. It's all been blocked off now by the farmer, but absolutely huge inside. Some places it's two storey. What's well, to do with RAF Staxton World? Remote radio sight receivers. I've got Staxton World on one of my other videos. I'm supposed to go down there. Well, let's go and have a look. Back wheel drop then. Yeah, that radar station I was just on about RF Bempton. If you go on a site called bunkertours.co.uk, I think it is, type in RAF Bempton and have a look at it. It's absolutely colossal underneath. And devil worshippers used to live in it. There's all satanic um, drawings sprayed on walls and it's very well publicised about what went on and it all got blocked off when a lad from Hull disappeared and they believe is well they believe is lost in there and um, you can read all about it on the internet um, and the farmer blocked it off very dangerous inside lots of asbestos and things like that but there's a place further down the coast near Withensea called RAF Homepton, H-O-L-M-P-T-O-N. Um, I'll just get up here. RAF Homepton, and that's a similar size to RAF Bempton. And you can go in it, and it's absolutely huge. I would ride down them, but I've got a broken spoke on my wheel. I upgraded my rotor from, um, I'll show you it later. I, I upgraded my rotor from a 180 to a, a 220 mil diameter. And I went down the road the other night to bed them in. Oh, all my brakes on. God, my bike stopped in a, an instant. Um, it grabbed and it snapped a front spoke um, so I'm only going steady places at the moment um, it got a spoke sorted oh I can't get through what a bugger what a shame I can't get I can't get my bike through there. Still, it is what it is. Turn around. It is what it is. And it doesn't matter because I'm still gonna have a great time anyway. Back we go. I've got a plan B. I've just made it up in my head. <laughs> but I've got a plan B. Still, it was worth having an explore because now I know you can't do it. At least not on a bike.
I'm going to give myself a little treat. Yorkshire mixture. Black ones are always the best. Then followed by red, orange and yellow. This suits me down to the ground. Just coming along, you know, six, seven, eight mile an hour. Just pottering around, smelling the countryside, just seeing everything. I find it so much more appealing than just whoosh, 20, 30 mile an hour, let's get to A to B. I know that is what those cyclists like and that is what they enjoy and that is their thing, which is absolutely fine and wonderful. I just like to bimble along and do my thing. Ow. <laughs> Stinging nettles. These white flowers, I don't know if you can see them, forget what you call them. What was always told as a kid that if you pick them, your mum will die. Just can't remember what they call them. Absolutely beautiful out here. Please don't be laughing at my man bra. That's what mount my camera on. Look at all this, how glorious it is. Gonna put my gloves back on. It's a lot nicer riding with me gloves on. These are great thin gloves. They're only cheap, they're only about a tenner. So easy to put on and just stop all the wind. Don't give you any protection. You know if you fall you're gonna go through them I reckon. Surprised how much more comfortable it is just without the breeze on your hands. Oh, come on. 
Don't open very far. Oops. Caution, you are now entering a golf course. Danger of maintenance, equipment and flying golf balls. <laughs> Leads you down to the cliffs up here. <laughs> Come to a few of the old wartime pillboxes up here from World War II. One just along here. People like to go in them and explore, but the problem is people use them as toilets. <laughs> I'll take you in this one for a look. I'm a bit. That one open. Oh, the gun slits look. Oh, it's all packed in there. Interesting up there. So I'm going to go and have a look. Oh, how lovely. That's a nice pond look. a pedestrian style gate here I don't think I'll get any further I just can't get any further because of the gate just can't get through hmm. so stopped and had a drink bit gutted that I couldn't get through because of that gate but it just leads us on to a, another adventure everywhere I've gone today I seem to get stopped <laughs>
paraglider there, look. Paraglider. Paraglider, I had at the. I don't know if you saw him take off. He couldn't get the lift, and he went right up to the bottom of the cliffs. Um, turned, and he's right down on the beach, a couple of miles up. Poor fellow was willing him to go up, but unfortunately, not today. I'm gonna go somewhere now and stop and make myself a cup of coffee. So I've just stopped to make myself a cup of coffee. There's my view over there. I often go along the base of them cliffs over there because I have a couple of videos on my YouTube thing um, for the wreck of the submarine, G3 submarine. I love it up there. And then sometimes come down there and pitch my tent. I spend the night down here. And it's absolutely fantastic. When I was on earlier on about um, snapping my spoke, I put a larger rotor on the front. I went from a 180 to a 220. Anyway, I hauled all on to bed my brakes in and it worked very well. <laughs> Look, I ended up snapping a spoke. I've just got it taped up so that bit doesn't rub on the inner tube. So I've got a new spoke coming. There's my bigger rotor. 220. So it does give me more confidence. Um, some of the long hills want to go down and quite steep. Um, and I don't keep my brakes off, I don't go down them. I'm long out with my youth so I'm quite on my brakes you know what I mean and I just prefer to have the confidence knowing that I can control the bike so let's see what we've got in here another cup of coffee
Oh. down to the beach to make sure I don't catch the tractor coming coming up here. <laughs>